Hey YouTube, how are we doing? Today I'm going to be having a look at Suno, uh, the AI song and music creator, and I'm going to be showing you how to separate your vocals and your instrumental parts of your track that you've made previously, um, or one which you will subsequently make. I'm going to start off today with a basic uh, little uh, pop song which I've made just for the purpose of this video. So let's go ahead and have a listen to this. We're only interested in the part as far as the end of the um the lyrics here so let's go ahead and see how long it takes to get to the end of those lyrics here we go this is just a test to see what we can do if i can separate the vocals you can do it too Okay, so those vocals there take us up to about the 20 second mark, so we need to just disregard the rest of that track. Now, in order to separate these vocals from the instrumental, what you need to do is click these three little lines just here and hover above create, and you need to go to this section here, which is get stems. Now, when you click that, it will give you a notification to uh, show that it's getting the stems. And you'll see here that it's making two new tracks um, called a stem track, and one is the vocals and one is the instrumental. So what we're going to do is just wait for these to do those th to do its thing. The longer the track, the longer this will take. It's quite an um, uh, intensive process uh, for them to do this. So the longer the track, the longer this will take. So I'm just going to fast forward this bit until we've got those two tracks finished. Okay, and as you can see, now we've got the vocals um, section and also the instrumental section. So let's first of all go ahead and listen to just the vocals. This is just a test to see what we can do. If I can separate the vocals, you can do it too. Okay, great. So we've got the vocals there, very nice and crisp. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to just the instrumental and see if there's any evidence there that there was any uh, voice on there. We're only interested in the first 20 seconds, because that's where the text was. Okay, well, there you have it. Very nice and clean there, uh, the instrumental. I've only gone up to the 20 seconds because that's when the vocal stopped on the uh, the full version just here. Uh, so that is a nice, good example of how to uh, separate the text, sorry, the uh, vocals from the instrumental on your track in Suno. However, it's not always this uh, plain sailing. If I go through into my library and uh, click onto a track which I've made previously, uh, let's go for this one here. So, it's uh, a bit more hectic, this one. But also with vocals, which will kick in in any second. Join me on my journey As I roll across the land And visit lovely places By twisting my right hand Okay, you can hear that's a little bit more hectic because you've also got like a cymbal sound uh, kicking in once there is some uh, lyrics, um, sorry, some vocals going above the instrumental track there. So I'm going to try the same thing with this track and see um, if it is always uh, plain sailing in that respect. Just taking a note here, 26 seconds, that's when the vocal stops, so I'll memorise that. And uh, let's get this uh, set up and do the create, get stems, and that will open it up into the create section. Uh, where we've got all the other previous ones we just did just here. So again, I'm going to fast forward the video until these have both populated. Okay, you can see that these are now both populated. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just listen to the vocals. We're only interested in the first 26 seconds of this track uh, because that's when the vocals finished in the uh, full version. So let's go ahead and listen to these lyrics. Again, there's an intro on the track, so it'll take a while for them to kick in. Join me on my journey as I roll 
across the land and visit lovely places by twisting my right hand through the boy. Okay, so that takes us to 26 seconds. We've got some uh, lyrics there. They're not quite as crisp as the ones on the previous version that I did uh, on this vocal test just here um, because this has got some sort of synthesizer or some sort of a robotic sort of a sound effect on it. So let's go ahead and listen to the instrumental and see whether that is clear of any evidence of the vocals ever being there. 26 seconds is our cutoff because that's when the vocals finished. Okay, so not quite as clear cut as the previous version on this vocal test just here, because there's a lot more going on on this track. It's having a much harder time taking away the lyrics. Um, so you can still hear them. They're just a, a much more muted than they were on the uh, original full version of the track. Um, so it does really make a difference what type of track you're doing. I don't know why when the, uh, when the tracks aren't being made, the vocals and the uh, instrumental aren't both made separately and then overlaid on top of each other because then you could just toggle on the vocals or toggle off the vocals. Uh, it would make my life much easier, but I don't know, maybe it uses more processing power to do such, such a thing. Um, and they only save it for, um, you know, an after the event thing kind of thing as we're doing just here. Um, so I hope you find that helpful today. Hope you managed to separate your vocals from your instrumentals uh, nice and crisp. Uh, but if you found this useful, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like and uh, let us know in the comments how it went for you. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.